Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let's hear the legend of Alcana. This is a tale of the kingdom of Gehenna Pali that stretched across these lands long ago. If you remember, the kingdom of Gehenna Pali. Once upon a time, Prince Menek. Son of King Karis set out with his vassals to hunt in the Gehenna forest. Gehenna was overtaken by the Onibubu. But in the forest they were enveloped by a thick fog, and the prince lost his way. Wandering aimlessly about, he happened upon a marsh from which grew an enormous tree. Thereupon he heard the sound of sobbing. But he knew not from where. I think the stories in this game have the best Found artwork. Found a maiden sitting all alone. She was weeping by the marsh. I am Alcana. I just buried my mother here in the marsh of Uban, she said. And then she looked up at the prince. He was overwhelmed by her beautiful eyes. The maiden stole his heart that day. It was truly a fateful meeting. I hope it's not a monster. Thereafter, the prince made frequent trips into the forest. Undoubtedly, he was paying visits to the maiden. The maiden had a strange power. She could talk to the insects and trees. Before long, there began a terrible rumor that the prince's heart had been stolen Ooh, look by at that art. Witch. One day, the maiden spun silk from fairy cocoons and wove it into a beautiful cloth for the king. But the brilliance of that cloth cast a shadow upon the kingdom. The king was so enthralled by the fairy silk that he sent his soldiers into the forest, where they ravaged for fairy cocoons. Oh no! The fairies, still in their cocoons, were boiled alive. The king killed them so he could have their silk. The prince pleaded with his father to stop his cruelty. But the king was no longer the man he had once been. Prince Menek was charged with treason oh, and that's imprisoned horrible. in the king's deepest dungeon. He was never heard from again. When the maiden learned of the prince's death, she cursed her fate and lamented the foolishness of man. She then cast herself away into the marsh where her mother lay. Oh. As she started to drown, a voice from nowhere whispered to her, I am Elrum. I shall grant you your wish. Tell me what you want, said the voice. The maiden told Elrum all that weighed upon her heart. The maiden said, Greed bears destructive knowledge. Its wicked power shall be the end of the forest. All hope is lost. The beasts of knowledge shall never live in peace with the forest. The one light of hope who I so loved has perished at the hands of the beasts. I now go to where my love Menek awaits. Thereupon Elrum spoke again. So you claim that your true love was torn asunder by the greed and hatred of the beasts of knowledge? When light is swallowed up by darkness, I shall unleash ruin upon the land, returning all to the nothingness from whence it came. That doesn't sound very good at all. I have a firm grip upon the darkness in your heart. That sounds worse. From that day forward, demons appeared in the forest. That sounds horrible. Terrifying all they came upon. And the kingdom of Gehenna Pali fell to ruin by the swarms of Onibubu, locusts of apocalypse. The demons that haunt the forest now are the beasts spawned by the greed in man's heart. Well, there's a little backstory for you. Well, that is the end of the story. That's a good story, though. I know you're busy, but come by any time. Every time we complete a gate, Poto will have I a new story for us. I shall always be here. Whoopsie. There we go. Let's get out of here. I'm glad they made the cancel button the run button. It's probably the best button to have your run button be. Besides R2, I mean. I mean, R2 is okay, too. 
All right, one, pla one last place to go, the village square, and then we'll be heading into the gate of, well, the beetle gate. Uh, here at the village square, there are two characters. Two, two old men. Ah, yes, these are the minstrels. Oh yeah, today was a festival, but uh, it doesn't seem like anyone's celebrating. Oh, Yazu, you can't be like that. Oh well, everyone has their doubts, but I'm sure once we get through the Beetle Gate, everyone will be happier. Let's go to the Forest Gates. Oh, hey, Louie, what are you doing? Hey, loser! What? So he asked me to show you the way. Well, I obviously don't. Uh, I feel sorry for you, so I'll lead you there just this once. Don't forget how to get there and try to keep up. I was in front of you. Hey, that's not fair, Louis. That's not fair at all. In fact, there's no reason for you to lead me here because. Okay, this is the divine barrier. Use the beetle key to open the beetle gate. Duh. The beetle gate is the one to the far right. Okay, that's an important From fact. There on out, it's all up to you. All right. Well, the beetle gate is the one on the far right. Well, okay. Here we go. Let's use the beetle gate key. Eleven. Walk towards the light. Oh. Who are you? I've seen poachers who impersonate cocoon masters. Well, that voice sounds familiar. If you are a real cocoon master, show me by playing that flute. Slowly now. This guy voice acts a lot of people. I find it hard to name. Uh, one of them would be the janitor from Nest Declassified School Survival Guide. Uh, Timmy's dad from Failure Out Parents. That's just a number of. I know that tune. Are you the son of Riquettes, the cocoon master of Cyrus? Yes. Yes, I am. If the son of Riquettes has been sent into the forest, the village must be in danger. Tell me what has happened in Cyrus. I see. So the Onibubu have reached Cyrus as what, well. What, you didn't know? And you came to search for the Calabas herb, huh? <laughs> but, uh, you're flute playing. You don't know anything yet, do you? No, I'm finally glad someone realizes this. Your father would never forgive me if I just let you go into the forest to die. I am Chorus, the Blue Cocoon Master. On behalf of my comrade Riquettes, I shall initiate you to the arts of the Cocoon Masters. All right, let's ask him everything. The minions of the forest are full of melancholy and are thus very dangerous. It is our task to capture them, but first, they must be weakened. It is for this purpose only that you would attack with a weapon. Let's have you learn the basics by actually fighting a minion. Let's go. Have you any mugwort herb? For after a fight, wounds and exhaustion must not be ignored. Use this now. This is actually an easy exploit. Here we if go. You keep asking Chorus to help on attack and defense, he'll keep giving you mugwort herbs. But uh, oh well. All right, let's fight our patron. Oh wow. Oh, well, that did a lot of damage to us, too. Well, I already told you guys how to de defend, but okay. While I could capture him now, I, uh, we have to do what Chorus tells us.
Alright, let's use the Mugwort Herb and heal ourselves. Yes, we understand very much. Attacking is the most important technique in battle. No, it's defense, but that's okay. Continue to battle while restoring your strength as long as you still have Mugwort Herbs. However, if you run out of Mugwort and your health is running low, then it is better to retreat than defend. These are the basic rules of combat. But remember, the mission of the Cocoon Master is not to kill, but to soothe souls. Yes. We want to capture No matter how Pokemans. furious or violent a minion may be, you must not kill. Killing will bring you nothing. Except for experience. Good job. Take this as a symbol of your hard work. Because when a minion kills another minion, you'll get experience for that minion. Let's talk about purification. Simply trapping a minion in a cocoon will not soothe its spirit. It requires purification. If you are a cocoon master, you must have taken a Nagi woman as your bride in the sacred union. Have your wife purify a firefly cocoon. It will then become a white cocoon. Once it becomes a white cocoon, you can summon the minion into battle. Well, that was simple. Okay. Let's talk about summoning. We are called Cocoon Masters because we have the power to summon magical minions. In order to beckon these minions, we must translocate our earthly vessels. In other words, the minions fight in our stead. Mesmerized by the sound of the flute. After all, we are but beasts of knowledge. No match for the minions deep in the forest. That means we must fight minion with minion. However, you may only take three magical beasts with you at a time. But Pokemon lets us take twice as many. Each minion possesses one of four distinct elemental properties. Keep the following relationships in mind. Earth repels water. Water extinguishes fire. Fire eliminates air. And wind whittles away. By the way, viewers, like in Nino Kuni, we can only have know three familiars or three minions. And develop a strategy first. Alright, let's talk about merging. Magic beasts gain strength through victory in battle. Yes, exactly what I said. And by merging different beasts together, they will become even stronger. Yep, we can merge things. Try it once you have obtained a few. It's like Monster Rancher. That's Your a game wife I shall play merge too. them for you. Be warned that while merging does pass on characteristics of both beasts, elemental properties and special abilities can either be strengthened or weakened. For this is the one thing I cannot teach you. You must master this process yourself. Don't worry, I know how to do it. All right, say goodbye. Very well. Now, you must try to apply what you have learned. My cottage is deep inside this forest. If you arrive there safely, you shall receive my approval. That's great. <laughs> oh, son of the Lion of Peril, you shall become a cocoon master worthy of your father's name. Uh, okay, let's go. Welcome to Beetle Forest. We couldn't end this episode without capturing one of our own familiars, so let's go get one. Another Potomiel. One more and we should be able to try and get it. There is no guarantee we'll get it though, so let's... Every time we try and capture and fail, one of our Firefly Cocoons will be used up. I think we can attack one more time, hopefully. Come on. Oh, dang it. Well, we just broke the first rule. Oh, oh, well. Yeah, we got nothing out of that because, well, obviously, we don't get experience from battling ourselves. Come here, buddy. 
Alright. It's odd, but I think there's a decimal system in this game. Like, HP is actually in decimals or something like that. Ah, oh, a critical hit. Anyway, let's try and capture him. By the way, our character can play flute with one hand. It's kind of cool. Now, will we get it? Will we get it? Maybe. Nope. Broke free. Crap. Oh, this isn't going to work out very well at all. I, I, I'm not going to be able to capture it this way. Oh, there we go. Two critical hits in a row, that's just ain't fair. There we go. By capturing it, we have great gained a level. Cool. Now that we have a fire flight cocoon, we can get out of here and purify it. But we'll do that next time. Let's head over to the save point and call the day. Of oh, course, is gone. There we go. Bad death perception. Alright, cool. This is Steamboat27, wishing you all a brighter tomorrow. Have a good day.